What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nitro7000, back with another video. And this week, I was going to be doing a review of Carman or Passover, but so many of y'all on my Instagram wanted me to review Shrek the Musical, so this video is going to be on that instead. Um, next week, I'm going to be reviewing Passover, so stay tuned for that. But as for my thoughts on Shrek the Musical, hmm, where do I begin? Well, luckily, I was able to watch the original cast production of Shrek the Musical on Netflix. Um, now, this show's book and lyrics was written by David Lindsay Abair with the score by Janine Tesori. The performance I saw particularly starred Brian Darcy James as Shrek, Sun Foster as Fiona, Daniel Breaker as Donkey, and Christopher Sieber as Lord Farquaad. Warning! Mild spoilers ahead. As for the plot of Shrek the Musical, it's basically the same thing as the movie, with a few additional moments. However, for those of you who haven't seen Shrek the Movie, the plot of Shrek is pretty simple. Now, Shrek is basically an anti fairy tale, meaning that it tries to be the the opposite of a traditional fairy tale that you might see in a Disney movie or something like that. And um it tells the story of an introverted ogre named Shrek who goes on an adventure to regain the privacy of his swamp. However, throughout this adventure, he learns to open up and connect with others. The question for this musical is, does Shrek the musical retain the same spirit of the movie? And do the additions that the musical adds enhance the story or detract from it? Well, in my opinion, the musical does retain the movie's essence. Now, as for the additions to the story and whether they worked or not, in my opinion, it was a mixed bag. Now, there was three main issues that I had with this musical. One is besides, I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. Besides having that song, um... At the end, yeah, besides having that song at the end of the musical, all the other iconic songs from Shrek the movie, they cut. And that hurt because I was over here, during at certain parts of the movie, I was over here just like on the edge of my seat waiting for, the, waiting for those songs to come up and none of them came up. So that sucked. Um, secondly, Donkey in this musical was annoying as hell. Like, in the movie, he was annoying. That's part of Donkey's character. But he kind of grows on you, and you start to like him regardless. In his musical, I didn't really feel that way. I was just annoyed by him, like, straight up. Whenever he came on the scene, I was just like, bro, can you shut up? And I was just like, I don't know. I don't, and, and it's crazy, because they didn't really change that many of his lines from the movie. They added more talking for him. But, I don't know, I just didn't like the character in this musical. And then the last problem I had with this musical was that, um, you know, basically, I didn't really like all the songs that they had in the musical. You know, my first time watching it from beginning to end, I was just like, man, these songs kind of suck. You know, that's just my opinion. But I was just, I just felt like they sucked when I was watching them. I was like, eh, I don't. They don't. They're not as they weren't as catchy as the songs from the movie. See, and that's the problem. The songs from the movie it fit the story of Shrek in a way that I felt like the musical numbers and this musical really didn't. But um, enough of the negative stuff. On to the good stuff. Even though I didn't really like m most of the songs in this musical, um, when I first watched it, there was one song that did stand out to me that I did like, and that song was "What's Up, Duloc." And it's sing, sung by um, Lord Farquaad. Um, I love that scene. I just, I just thought, I just thought it was really fun, and um, you know, I, mainly because of the campiness of Lord Farquaad's character. That's another, that's another thing that I liked about uh, the Shrek the Musical. I loved, I loved the the way they treated Lord Farquaad's character. They made him really entertaining, and um, his song, like I said, his song was cool. That song stood out to me, but um, for this review, I wanted to give this musical another chance. So I listened to the soundtrack again, 
And I actually found, I was able to find a few more songs that I did like. So, um, you know, I the two other songs that stood out to me the most were Who I Be, which is sung by Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey, and then Build a Wall. And I like those two songs because, you know, they were relatable. I felt like in those moments, I was like, I definitely had times in my life where I felt like, I, for, you know, who I'd be, where I want, I wish that I was something that I feel like I can't be. Um, and then I definitely had moments where I'm like, I want to build a wall and isolate myself from people because I feel betrayed by them and something like that. So, though, you know, those three songs are the main songs that I liked in this musical. Now to my third thing that I liked. Well, Yeah. I guess this is my four. Yeah, I said I liked. So I said I liked uh, a few of the songs. Um, I liked Lord Farquaad. Um, I guess my third thing that I liked is I didn't. Even though I, I wasn't a big fan of um, Brian Darcy James as Shrek, but I liked the fact that this musical gave us more insight into Shrek into what he thinks about himself and society. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, cause the music in the movie, we see Shrek, you know, he has like, he kind of, um, puts on a front to keep people out and we, but we see him being more vulnerable in the musical, which was, was just, which was dope. Um, and then lastly, the thing that I liked the most was Sutton Foster as Fiona. Now, you know, it could be, it's a, it's probably a mix of the writing of her character and the actress herself. But I just thought I really enjoyed watching her play per, play as Fiona. Even though I didn't really enjoy all the songs she was in. I just thought the actress did a really good job. And um, now on to the rating. What do I give Shrek the musical? Drum roll please. 7 out of 10. Now, I don't think Shrek the musical is the worst musical I've ever seen. <coughs> Cats! Um... But I do think that Shrek is something you could watch with your friends and family and have a good time with. You know, I, I, I just don't think that I would willingly watch Shrek the musical again unless I'm trying to analyze it or unless I'm trying to show it to unless I wanted to show it to someone who has never seen it before. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's all I have to say on the musical. Thank you for reaching this point in the video. Now, one thing that I do want to say is that I know some of you might not have my Instagram. Now, uh, my Instagram is actually the same thing as my YouTube channel. It's the same name, Nitro7000, so it's going to be pretty easy to find. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna I, I make updates on what's going on with my YouTube channel. Um, and sometimes I post polls if I feel like my YouTube video is not getting enough comments. I would just post a poll over there saying, what should I watch next or something like that. But also you can see, um, you can see some other stuff that I don't post on my channel, like some, some art projects, maybe a drawing if I, if I draw. Um, you might see pictures of me doing different things. You, it, it's a pretty cool place, so go ahead and follow my Instagram. Um, but yeah, now back to the video. Um, you know, if you like, if you enjoyed what you just watched and you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment what I should see next, um, comment what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, go ahead and give me some feedback, um, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn the bell icon on so you can be notified when I post next. And um, subscribe. Subscribe.